Hi, I am Dr. Mirna Saadi, the founder and managing director of Wellbeing Center, Middle East. First, I'd like to acknowledge your love for health and for well-being and for being here. Nowadays, wanting to be a hypnotherapist is so much more than a career. It is really a calling and you will never regret saying yes to this dream. In this certification, you learn how to support yourself first and then how to support others in the best of your abilities. And I am there with you, guiding you every step of the way. I will guide you in forming your confidence. You will be learning many life skills. You will be changing in the most amazing ways. And then, after you learn the framework of hypnotherapy, you can start using it instantly, directly after I give you your certification. The beautiful thing about it is that you can integrate it with your pre-existing practice. If you're a doctor, a nurse, a psychotherapist, a physiotherapist, you can integrate it easily within your pre-existing framework or instantly start your own office with hypnotherapy. You can use it one-on-one. -on -one or you can use it with groups. You can also work with organizations all around the world. What is hypnosis? Hypnosis is an interactional outcome. In the session, myself as a therapist and my clients, it's a very meaningful interaction and we are extremely responsive to one another. Take a deep breath in and with every breath you take, you will feel more and more relaxed. I'm often asked, like, will I be unconscious in the session? No, it's far from being unconscious. In the session, you are actually gaining more consciousness and you are gaining much more focus. I'm also often asked, will I be surrendering my will to you? Will you control me or dominate me? <laughs> No, those are myths. I'm not here to control you or dominate you. I am here to teach you how to take back your own self-control. Another misconception is weak-mindedness. Some people think that only fools can be hypnotized and that's so not true. So one time a person came to me and told me, try to hypnotize me, you cannot. And then I said, do you think you're smart? And he said, yes, of course I'm smart. So in fact, the higher the IQ, the more suggestible you are. And this is when hypnosis works. Hypnosis requires a lot of concentration and intelligence. And if you're not, you know, intelligent, you cannot be hypnotized. Hypnosis is a wonderful tool for depression, anxiety, psychosomatic disorders, pain, fibromyalgia, smoking cessation, eating disorders, weight loss. In fact, any habit that is negative, that doesn't serve you in life, that you want to put an end to it, hypnosis is the tool for that. Let's say as well that you have certain traumas in your childhood. Hypnosis is the only tool that has age regression. So through age regression, I take my client back in time, back in time to when a certain trauma took place and then we rewire it. Hypnosis as well is a great tool for cancer treatment. For me, I went all the way to New York to be certified by the ICANN School of Medicine Integrative Cancer Treatments. And it's a very um, evidence-based technique, which is called CBTH, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, in combination with hypnotherapy. This will be a phenomenal journey and I will be here to support you every step of the way. See you. With every beat of the drum, you go deeper and deeper into relaxation.